Came into it with 38 in your head and you executed. Yep, exactly. Tell, tell, tell me about the race. What happened there? Um, well, I got off to a bit of a bumpy start. Stumbled a little bit on the st on the start. Going in about halfway through the race, stumbled again. Mistakes, but tried to make up for it as best as I could during the race. Paid off in the end. So yep. you didn't do too great in the 100 hurdles earlier today. I didn't. I wish I could have done better. Wasn't able to qualify for CIF in that, but we got next year. Knowing you weren't doing too great in there, coming into the 300, what was your mental prep like? What'd you do there? Can't mess up again. It happened once, can't let it happen again. Heading yeah. into the 4x4 later tonight, what is some, some mental prep you're doing maybe? Because uh, you're speaking I don't know. into That's existence. My favorite event, so like, yeah, I'm just going to run as fast as I possibly can over 400 meters. What else can you do? Yeah. Uh, what's your training been like to, to lead up to this incredible PR? Oh, well, oh, it's a pretty extensive list. I mean, earlier, early this season, we were focusing a lot on strength building, longer workouts, but slower, and then coming up into like league and all that stuff, we started to pick up the pace, shorter workouts, faster times, less rest kind of stuff. Yeah, I think it's a pretty good program. Yeah. Awesome. Heading into the 4x4, uh, what, what are some things you're going to work on there? Um, I think I I've been really wanting to break the 50 the 50 point like barrier for me and one thing I need to work on is probably the starts for it. I usually end up starting a little too slow and then try to make up for it in the end. This time I'll try and make, run a more even race, you know?